Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister Yunya Ni here, and we have a very special guest, and you've seen her before on my channel. Jane, welcome back! Hi guys! So Jane is here to teach me how to portray that beautiful, natural, glowy complexion that mm. everybody really wants, you know what I'm saying? to make it look like you have naturally beautiful skin. So I really wanted to learn that. And also we are going to be answering the questions that we asked you guys mm -hmm. on Instagram. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. Yay! Let's start with skincare because mm -hmm. it's the most important part of the makeup. Yeah, mm. definitely. Okay, I'm so excited. What are you gonna put on May? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to apply the Signia Water, <gasps> Narcissist Beauty Signia Water. It, yeah. Is that gold? Yeah, it's gold, golden dew. Oh my gosh, there's gold inside. Yeah. Ooh, tell me a little about this fabulous toner. So this is Signia water, mm. and the main ingredients include plant-based stem cells. Wow. So it's really good with um, anti-aging mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and gives um, instant hydration to your skin. It is on the pricier side, but I think it does have really great ingredients. Mm -hmm. So can you yeah. put it on me now? Normally I would use a cotton pad, but because this is, you know, quite pricey, I just use my hands. <laughs> it's cut, you know. Mm. So if you want glass skin, mm -hmm. like really high, well hydrated skin, mm -hmm. and your skin is normally really dry, then I would go for something a little more like dense. Mm. Uh, so you prefer something more like viscous, thicker yeah. texture than compared to the watery water ones. Water, yeah. Mm. The smell is like almost like a perfume. So it smells really good. I, I do feel like they might have artificial fragrance, but you can feel the luxuriousness of it. Like yeah. it feels very like, lux lux bougie. bougie. <laughs> it looks, it does feel really, really nice. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna ask you the very first question. Mm -hmm. This is the questions that you guys asked on Instagram. What moisturizer is good to prime the face for makeup. Ooh. Oh, this really depends on mm. the type of skin, I reckon. Mm -hmm. So if you have uh, quite oily skin, yeah. so if you have like big pores and oily skin is your main concern, mm -hmm. I would go for something that is a little more lightweight. And if you have very dry skin like us, yeah, yeah I have dry skin, I would go for something a little bit more oily. Mm. Oily the more Yeah, term. yeah, more yeah. with oil content. Yeah, yeah, yeah I definitely because feel you. Because people mm. always think, oh, oily, oily um, products, we shouldn't use them, but I think that's what people make mistakes. Exactly, yeah. we do need oil. Like yeah, we just we do need the proper amount of oil. Yeah, there's, you know? there needs to be like a right balance mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. of the water and the oil. Right, yeah. right. Anyway, so we're gonna move on to the moisturizer now. Yeah. Mm, this is more like a very watery type. Yeah, <gasps> it, see, it's very watery oh. and that's why it absorbs the skin instantly. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so good about it. I like it because um, it doesn't like peel off. Mm. I don't like, I don't prefer those moisturizers that... Yeah. I call it lotion boogers. Lotion boogers, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not Oh my the... gosh, that's the perfect... <laughs> yeah, right? Is that just an actual... No, oh. it's just something that I made up, but it's everyone when they hear, they're like, I know what that is. Yes, yeah. lotion boogers, you know? All right, so we're gonna move on to primer now. Mm. And the next question is, what is the primer and cushion for oily skin? Um, mm. I think for oily skin, uh, the new product that I really, really like to recommend is Airy Blur Priming Powder. But it's a powder? <laughs> yeah. How can it be a primer? It's a primer, but it's a dough type primer. Wow. Yeah. So if you see it here what? and press it, it goes can I, in. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Just give some pressure. <gasps> oh mm. my gosh. It goes in like that. What? Do you see it? Uh-huh. Because it's not a powder, but it's not also a, how do I say it? Primer? Li liquid, liquid primer? primer? Yeah. Wow. It's somewhere in between. It's made to be applied before foundation wow. and after your skincare. Wow, that's so interesting. Mm. So what I do is you apply it like just a thin layer uh -huh. after your skincare. Okay. So right now you only have moisturizer on, right? Mm -hmm. You you can um, apply sun cream first mm -hmm. or skip that process right and just apply it like once like that. it's a innovative like new technology wow there are no products like this at the moment in the yeah, market yeah i've never heard of this mm. this is like all sold out in korea at the mm -hmm. moment also it just blurs out your pores oh. and 
um, it makes the makeup stay on. I think the most um, amazing thing about this is uh -huh. that you can apply it before your foundation. Mm. So even if you apply like a, a glowy foundation, right. you won't lose its glow, but wow. it'll make it stay longer. Wow. Yeah. And mm. now for cushion, yeah, I would definitely mm -hmm. recommend our uh, black cushion mm -hmm. number one cushion oh, mm -hmm. so our black foundation actually launched after this cushion because it was such a big hit in korea wow yeah it's just like the most popular cushion oh. out there at the moment oh, and oh, it's oh. really recommended for oily skin oh i see i mean it works for all skin types mm -hmm. but especially for oily skin because it's kind of like semi-matte and if oh. you like that texture mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it works and also the really good thing about the black cushion mm -hmm. is it applies like very um, thin, oh, thinly. But it has good coverage. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But it's got really good coverage. And you know, m uh, most foundations with higher coverage, right. it goes on like too thick and it, it makes it, your yeah, skin look a little bit too like tacky. And, yeah. Mm. And it's just, it feels uncomfortable every mm. time I move, because I move my you know face a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this feels really like I have makeup on, yeah. you know? And I don't want to feel like I have makeup on, so. Mm. So I'm going to be applying the 17 shade. Okay. Yeah, number 17. And the really good thing with the puff as well, the cushion puff, mm. um, it's, if you zoom in really, really closely, mm -hmm. um, it's made like uh, a brush, oh, like wow. a foundation brush. Uh -huh. So that's why it gets into your pores and works really well and oh. creates that really smooth, you know, texture that you create um, when using a brush. What oh! Do you think? This is so. exactly, it's like my skin. Oh my gosh, I like it. I like this one a lot. Mm. And you know what? It is semi-matte, but I do still feel like I have that naturally glowy complexion. I mm, love it. Mm, mm, oh. mm. It's very like um, moisturizing on the inside, but it's oh. got a semi matte, slightly powdery um, surface. Oh. So <gasps> I like it's very smell. comfortable on the skin, but oh. it creates that really nice texture. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. This is one of the best selling products. I Now I know why. <laughs> No wonder why. So this is a uh, more of a very natural semi matte look. Mm -hmm. It looks like you have naturally just really nice mm. skin. If you want something that's a little bit dewy, because a lot of people do, they love that little mm. glow. What mm. would you recommend if I want something a little bit dewier? Um, if you want to go for something dewy, you mm -hmm. know how we used the airy blur priming powder before. Mm -hmm. I would actually recommend the magic starter ah, as a base uh -huh, instead. Uh -huh. So I'll just apply this. Mm -hmm. um, before we use the green just to get rid of the redness but right. for this time I'm going to use the pink, the rose color. Okay. So would this have a little bit of a pink tone? For me? Um, I think it gets rid of the yellowness but you ah. don't have a lot of yellowness mm. but still it just helps um, create more like vitality to your skin. Yeah, I need yeah. that. I look yeah. tired. I am tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need sugar, okay? I need Someone feed her uh, sugar, please. Or beer or something. Someone feed her some chocolate. <laughs> so this is uh, not related to base, but still three, like uh, maybe you could give us short answers. Mm -hmm. Three best makeup tips for beginners. One. Use the right shade foundation. Yeah, because yeah. if you don't do that, you yeah. ruin everything else, yeah. right? Okay, number two. Use neutral colors for your mm. eyeshadow or, you know, don't go for something that's like too, too extreme. Right, right. It's going to be, unless you have the right techniques, it's going to be quite hard. Right, right, yeah. right. Number three. Don't apply too much of the product. Ah. Yeah. So whether you apply the cushion foundation mm. or I don't know, like with your eyebrows as well. Just like try to go a little bit, start with like little? less, yeah, yeah, little, and then add more mm -hmm, mm -hmm. instead of like doing too much at once. And and then I'm going to be applying the glow lasting foundation. So the good thing about mm -hmm. our glow lasting foundation mm. is that it's got a really good coverage, mm. although it's glowy. Ooh, you can really tell right off the bat that this looks. Do it. You can see the glow, mm. and this one is semi matte, definitely mm. matte, more on the matte side. Yeah, but it's not like too glowy or anything. So. No, it's perfect for like daily makeup, mm. I would say. Mm. And another question said, if only three makeup products to be used, what they would, what they would be? Like, if you can use only three products, mm -hmm. like what's the most important thing? Uh, 
Um, only three products? Only three products. I think also a lipstick mm -hmm. and a cushion foundation. Which we just put on. Yeah. Oh. And one more. Mascara. Mascara, yeah. yeah. So this one is like so good. This this product. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, this it's product. Jaja. Okay. Oh, Jinja. I really, really recommend this wow. one. If you try it. It's very moisturizing, but it's matte at the same time. Huh? So you may wonder, like, what the hell? Because, you know, <laughs> what's going what's on? What's going on? It's matte, but it's hydrating. hydrating. Okay. So I, ah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's very, like, cooling as well. And also, yeah, I forgot to mention, mm -hmm. um, it's got a plumping effect as well. Ah. Mm. Uh, is this the one you said that it doesn't go on the mask? Yeah, it doesn't really go on the mask compared oh. to the other like glossy or sticky lipstick because I see. of the matte texture. Mm. Do you like the color? I love, I love the color. It's This is exactly what I would do if I don't want to wear makeup. Like yeah, something yeah, really yeah. BB cream, yeah. really red lips mm. and then I'm done, you know? And then mascara. Mascara, okay. This is another ultimate favorite. Okay. Rich Long Lash Waterproof Mascara. You're not just saying this because you're uh, no. part of a more Pacific, no, right? No, no way, no way. I only recommend products that I've used for uh -huh. you know a certain amount of time. Right, right, right. And the only products that I really, really find good. Mm, okay, yeah. got you. Okay. Uh, actually, there was a question that asked, uh, can you recommend the best lengthening mascara? All so right. This is perfect. This is the perfect lengthening uh -huh. mascara. Yeah, I think microfiber is mascaras the most important thing is that you know it should lengthen right yeah and just do like zigzag motions when applying and this is a really good question especially for the situation right now where mm -hmm. because of covid mm -hmm. um tips for smudge proof base makeup especially during these mask situations mm -hmm. good question um i'm gonna give you two tips on this one mm -hmm. so number one is use the airy blur priming powder uh -huh. before or even after the foundation oh. and so i'll just do it on one side of your face i mean this was made to be applied before foundation, but it works the same for the um, on top as well. And the last question that we're gonna ask is, what are your favorite makeup tricks that might not be well known? And I think that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask, especially for retouching your makeup, because you do that a lot, right? You yeah. have like filming for how many hours mm -hmm. throughout the whole day or even days. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what your tricks are in that sense. Uh, so my tip would be, Use cushion mm. foundation, mm -hmm. but um, before you do that, mm. like, so if you, just say you're outside and you're trying to retouch your makeup, yeah. you would just normally people would just normally use their cushion foundation like right that. away. Yeah, mm. but it makes it really um, it's very unhygienic first, and also it makes it very cakey as well. Right, right. So my tip would be use a primer, mm -hmm. like a watery watery primer, mm -hmm. and just clean up using a puff. Ah, use a mm, primer mm, to mm. clean up. Mm, mm, mm. I've never heard of that. Oh, that's a really interesting one. So instead of just applying the cushion foundation straight after, uh -huh. uh, I will use a puff. Puff, use a puff like this. Mm -hmm. And say you're outside and you've had this makeup on for quite a long time. Yeah. And you want to do this part again. Uh -huh. You would just like, you know, like sweep off your foundation that you have. Interesting, using a mm, primer. Using a primer, or even like a moisturizer works. Oh, oh, oh. All right guys, thank you so much for tuning in until the very end. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you guys enjoyed um, Jane answering the questions for you. Jane, did you have fun today? I had so much fun and I was, it was just awesome. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm so glad that you're back and you need to come hang out with us again too. Yeah, please um, invite me again. Oh yes, yeah. yes. And you can come back to more Pacific. Yeah. I was so excited because I was like, girl, we gotta go skincare shopping because you know that second floor that they have, the mm, Amara Pacific mm, store? Mm. I think it's gonna be so fun to go skincare shopping with Jane because, you know, she's a professional makeup artist. I think the way that she reviews or views skincare products and makeup products will be so different. Mm. So it'll be fun to go shopping together. Yeah. yeah. Would that be our next video maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, wonderful. All right, guys, if you have any questions for Jane, please leave it in the comments below. If you have any um, recommendations for collab videos too, please let us know and follow her on our Instagram. I will leave everything in the description. And thank you guys so much. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, my. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>